With the X-Class debuting in production form in just a couple of days, we have decided to have a look at its ancestors, some of which were concepts while others actually made it to the streets. In 1936, Mercedes introduced the 170 VUC above and offered it not only as a pickup, but also in multiple other body styles. The V in the name was an abbreviation of the German word Vron, front, as a way to denote the engine's placement in the front rather than at the back as it was the case with the 170H, heck equals rear. The two shared the same engine, a four-cylinder, 1.7-liter delivering 37 horsepower to the rear wheels through a four-speed manual gearbox. The 170V will go down in history as the first Mercedes vehicle to be manufactured after the end of the Second World War. Let's fast forward to the early 1970s when the W115 was alive and kicking. Even Mercedes says the history of this singular creature is shrouded in mystery. From the very little info available, it is believed Mercedes shipped CKD sets to Latin America, the pickup truck conversion took place in Argentina and the workhorse was actually sold through Mercedes dealer network. The immortal G-Class belonging to the W461 was launched in 1990 when the regular W463 also came out. The former was produced until 2001 for military purposes and there were also versions tailored to para public service and utility. It was then replaced by the W463 based model still available today. The outgoing G-Class generation has led to the creation of the Bonkers G636X6, which is technically a pickup truck as well. In 1995, Mercedes explored the idea of creating a four-in-one car with the Vario Research Car, a front-wheel drive show car. The multi-purpose vehicle was envisioned as a sedan, wagon, cabriolet, and as a pickup. Switching from one body style to another took 15 minutes. You can think of it as a spiritual successor of the 170V. It represented Mercedes' first car to have drive-by-wire technology for the brakes and steering. In addition, the VRC concept also had a CFRP body and boasted an early implementation of a traffic sign detection system. Another concept, the Viano Activity, was presented at the 2004 IAA Commercial Vehicle Show. Back then, Mercedes said it had American style with European dimensions and dynamics. Its most interesting feature was an extendable load floor boosting the van's overall length from 4.99 meters to 5.70 meters. Last year at the Paris Motor Show, Mercedes previewed its first ever X-Class pickup truck with a pair of concepts. The production model is slated to debut on Tuesday, but it won't be a 100% Mercedes model since the utilitarian vehicle will ride on a Navara, Alaskan platform and will be built by Nissan and Renault.